I'm thrilled to be joined by Marsha Skripik, author of numerous books, including today's Velshi Band book club feature, Winter Kill. Marsha, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, being with us. And I want to start with the premise for Winter Kill. Um, you say that your book was inspired by your grandfather. Tell me a bit about that, please. My grandfather was a member of the Communist Party in Canada, and uh, he had lost track of his mother uh, and sister. Uh, he came before the First World War, and so he joined the Communist Party to be able to go back to uh, Soviet Ukraine to try and find his family. Um, so the main one of the main characters is Alice, whose father was a, a communist member and did go back to Ukraine. Uh, to help Stalin with his plan, which a lot of communists of the time who were Canadian and American thought it sounded really good because communism, honestly, it sounds pretty darn good. Um, he was his um, okay. he was denied, and so he didn't go. But um, I just had to think, like, that was the inspiration for the book, was what if he had gone over and what if he had been caught in this whole machinery and ended up being one of the people who... Um, helped implement Stalin's plan to kill his own people, basically. One of the moments in the book that stayed with me was when one of the shock workers discovers a collection of traditional Ukrainian songs. I just want to read a part of that quote. The younger shock workers came out of the house holding a stack of bound papers in his fist. What's this, he asked. Just some notes, I said. It was much more than that, but I hoped he wouldn't figure it out. Uncle Ilya and Auntie Paulina had been compiling our local variations of old folk songs. We've been looking for it. He struck a match. He lit the corner. Then he turned it carefully to make sure the whole thing burned. The other shock worker came out to watch. Quote, it's good to get rid of this backward Ukrainian garbage, he said. You should stick to Soviet songs. They're much better. And the reason I wanted to read that is because preserving culture is a main theme not just in Winterkill, it's actually a main theme in this war in Ukraine right now. Yes, it is. I mean, um, museums are being destroyed, books are being piled up and burned. It's just so devastating, and that's what uh, Stalin did in the 1930s as well. He wasn't just wanting to destroy every single uh, child, woman, and man who was Ukrainian. He wanted to destroy the culture and everything about it. He just wanted to erase as if it never happened, as if there is no such thing as Ukrainian. What, right now in the United States, we're grappling with what can and cannot be taught in schools. And I want to read a passage that you wrote uh, about in Winterkill about Soviet education. Quote, Comrade Petrovna looked as tired as I felt as she went up and down the aisles to give us back our essays. We were all supposed to write about one aspect of Stalin's five-year plan, and our marks were based on our enthusiasm for the ideology. In other words, we'd be rewarded for how well we lied, end quote. All right, considering the uptick in, 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 the uptick in, in book banning and curriculum I infringement, there's a lot of ties between what you wrote about and what's going on today. There certainly is. And I mean, the thing is, is that kids need to be exposed to all kinds of literature. And if they're not, then they won't be able to think for themselves. You have to be able to read things that you agree with, that you disagree with, that people don't want you to read. And I mean, you know, the truth of it is, is that good children's literature by definition is subversive. And what I mean by that is anything that sticks with you for a long, long time, the things that you remember reading as a kid, it's because they upended uh, the ideas that uh, were being forced upon kids from above. And it never works that way. Kids need to think. And that's actually why I write for young people, because they're much more open-minded than um, adults. The dedication to Winter Kill reads, uh, quote, to the memory of Rhea Kleiman, who was fierce in her pursuit of the truth. Uh, Rhea Kleiman makes a cameo in Winter Kill. Who's Rhea Kleiman, and why have you dedicated this book to her? So she was a real journalist. At the time of the Holodomor, there were many journalists, including Walter Durante of the New York Times, who were paid by Stalin to lie about what they would see. So they would actually step over dead bodies as they were, you know, maybe eating ice cream or something, and then write that the peasants, the Ukrainian peasants, were happy and fat and dancing in the street. But Rhea Kleiman, she was a Canadian uh, journalist of Polish and Jewish uh, heritage, who was completely different than that. 
She um, uh, came to Ukraine. She was able to actually travel all the way through Ukraine and wrote the truth. And it um, got her kicked out of uh, the Soviet Union. But uh, she also met a young girl in Kharkiv when she was at a hotel in Kharkiv named Alice. And my uh, one of my main characters is Alice, and I based that character on uh, the real Alice that Ray men, met. And it was this young Canadian girl who had traveled to Kharkiv with her father to help Stalin's plan. That's the whole thing, you know, um, why I wrote this book is because of Rhea. But I have such deep admiration for her because in the midst of everybody taking bribes and everybody going by what the mainstream was saying, she had the bravery, just the, auda just the audacity and the, to stand out and to just say things. And it didn't matter what the um, risk to her own life was, what the risk was to her career, she did it. And she um, kind of dropped into oblivion after that. And so I'm so glad that she is getting more attention now. Um, and the works that she has written, it's almost prophetic, a lot of her uh, news clippings. Yeah. Marcia, thank you for being with us. Thanks for being a member of the uh, book club and the team of people we, we interview and adding to uh, the corpus of our work. Marcia Skripik is the author of numerous books, including today's Velshi Band book club feature, Winter Kill.